The funeral for the youngest victim of this new round of hostilities. He's the son of Mohammed Daif, leader of the Qassam Brigades, Hamas's military wing. The toddler and Dave's wife were killed when several missiles hit the house of Al Dalwa family in Sheikh Radon district. Health officials say at least 45 people were injured in the same airstrike. It's not clear whether the Al Qassam Brigade's commander was in the house at the time. He was Israel's intended target. Hamas says they missed it. The house where the Al Dalwa family was targeted is not very far from here, and many of the people immediately ran to the UN shelters as soon as they heard about it, even though they say they still don't feel safe here. Many fled at night while airstrikes and the rocket fire were intensifying. Fathey al Atatra and her 16 children live in one of the border areas where most of the fighting happens. We had so much hope the ceasefire would last. Do you think we are happy with this war? We were hearing about the possibility of a 10-year ceasefire. Then we heard about their home and people were screaming. We were scared. Everyone started running. An estimated 250,000 people had taken refuge in the UN schools before the ceasefire. Some had gone back home during the ceasefire, which was short-lived. I had to come back here for my children. I don't know what more can Israel hit. We don't have any choice. Either we live or we die. There is nothing less for us. Here, people fear it could happen again. They don't know how much longer this war will last. But for now, this is the safest place they can be in Gaza.